we will learn how to connect May.com, Airtable and ChatGPT. And in this tutorial, we will have a list of uh, descriptions. So I am selling a house or I am buying a house. And only if the user is buying a house, we're going to write buyer here. But if user is uh, this, if this is not true that user is buying the house, we will not write anything or we will do something else. We will also learn how to set up condition to be another uh, whole field. So, for example, if user doesn't have a phone number, then we will write buyer. But if user has a phone number, then we will not write anything. So this is condition based on a different field. Join my free school community where you will master building AI automation, chatbots and workflows. You can read more below. Let's start at make.com. Let's click here and search for <coughs> Airtable. And I'm going to click here and watch records. I'm going to create a connection. And we will not choose API key, but OAuth. And then save. So we need to give permissions here. Uh, you, I'm going to select our tutorial base that I created for this tutorial in Airtable. So if you don't know how I created this, I will show you right now just as I grant access. So my connection is established. Now I, I can select one that I granted access to. So we're going to uh, see tables. So basically, ignore that. Basically, I started here, uh, start from scratch. And then I made, and then I renamed the base to tutorial and tutorial table, and I added these two, these few fields. So let's go here, select table, it's going to be tutorial table, trigger field. Let me click here to refresh. So I don't see. In label field, I'm going to say description. I think that's it. So this says we need to create a uh, created time or last modified uh, time. So let me create this field, this column. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to say last modified time. I'm going to scroll a bit down and click this last modified time and create field. And now that we created this, I'm going to go here and click this refresh. And now I can select last modified time. Uh, I think I'm going to maybe limit this to one or I think I'm going to maybe not. Okay, let's just press OK. Uh, choose where to start from now on. Okay. So if I click run once, it's going to run and it will not return me anything. But if I go here and let me copy this and create a new row with this. Now, if I go here and run once, it will return me this new row that I created with creation time, ID uh, and uh, description. But if I run once again, it will not return anything because there is no new rows. So let me go here, pull chat GPT here, a message. Let me just say create completion here. And I'm going to start a new connection, so add a connection, uh, just tutorial connection. And now we need to go to uh, platform.openai.com slash API dash keys, or just say API keys uh, OpenAI in Google and create a new secret key, I think wherever, tutorial, uh, default project, create secret key, and then copy this key, and then API key here and save. And now that we uh, made this, so the model, I think I'm going to choose Omni Mini, probably. And then let's add message, uh, role system. So we are telling it what to do. So uh, if the user is buying, answer with buying. Or actually, let's just say buyer, like this. Uh, I think otherwise, ad, otherwise, don't, otherwise, uh, say not available, like this. 
Okay, and I think that's it. We don't need anything else, but we do need to add a new message and say user and then pass in the description. So the description is going to say I'm buying three bedrooms, three bedroom house or I'm sell selling three bedroom house. And then press OK. But I must set maximum tokens. So let me just set whatever, like tw not 20, let's say 100. So that would be around 400 characters, but that's not going to be, it's not going to use so many. Now we have this kind of error here, so let me click it again and press OK again, and the error goes away. And now uh, we want to save this into the database. So Airtable, uh, I think up, update a record, and then choose account, this one that we just created. Continue. Now uh, we need updating, read, uh, updating data permissions, so I'm going to select the same thing and give the permission. So there is a bug that says resource not found. So I think it will not let me do it. So instead I'm gonna, oh, actually, wait, I did it. Okay, I think I did it. So I just tried two times and it worked. Otherwise I would have added just new connection here and then maybe it would have worked. So let's update this base and then the tutorial table as I named it here, this is the table and base. Record ID, we're gonna say this ID from air table that we got and we will just update here buyer or seller uh, result from OpenAI. And you can find this result also in choices, message, and content. So content is same as this result. And I think that's it. So let me go here. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say like I'm buying a new house. I'm going to add a new record. You remember that we need to add a new record for this to be triggered. That's what we selected here. This is watching for new rows. So if I do this, it goes here, it goes back, and let me see, buyer, it works. It That did buyer. But now I want to make it so that if uh, has phone number is no, then I don't want it to like update anything. So I want to uh, basically make a condition. And that we will do that here on this, uh, what is this called, this tool. I don't know in English, but... Uh, let's set up a filter uh, has phone number just like this condition so the field has phone number and let's say uh, text equals to no if it's yes so if it's yes then it's gonna pass okay so let me test this I added a new row here and I said yes here so this should work so if I run this once it should uh, create here buyer and if I add also like I'm buying but uh, if it's a no then I will then it shouldn't work so it didn't write anything here and let's maybe make it even better so if it's a buyer then you should write if it's a seller then don't write anything uh, so for that, I'm going to remove this uh, filter. So I'm going to click here. And I'm not sure how to remove this. Actually, maybe... Let me just uh, set up a filter and then remove this and then delete this and then press OK. So there is no filter now. So let me set up a filter here after the chat GPT. And I'm going to check if this is equal to buyer. So... Uh, is buyer this is the filter this is the name of the filter and then uh, the result of chat gpt equals to buyer so if it's equal to buyer it's going to update a row but if it's not equal to buyer then it's not going to do anything so if i go here and i say uh, i am selling a house if i go here run it shouldn't do anything but if I say, uh, let's add a new row, I am buying a house, then it should say a buyer. So if I go here, it says buyer. That's it.